All right, hello everybody. We're here with a brand new game today. Yay! So today we're going to play Valhalla. I have friends who've been telling me to play this game for years. And now I'm finally giving it a shot. All right. Although back then, uh, when people were really telling me to play it, it wasn't on Switch yet. So, um, yeah, there's that. And now it's on Switch, so that's uh, usually my easy thing to play. Like, I do play games on PC sometimes in the past, but it's a lot likely I'll be able to play it if it's on something like the Switch. That's why, like, um, I finally played a Disco Elysium when it was on the Switch, etc., etc. And so, um, if you guys take a look-see here... I, the Somnian Files Nirvana Initiative, has showed up on my uh, Switch main page thing. So this is the game we just finished, I, the Somnium Files... So right next to it, this is the one coming out soon, because I had it pre-ordered, so now that it's shown up, it's like, oh, it's coming soon. And look, it's Mizuki Colors. She, yeah, you know how you heard that um, uh, teal and orange um, matching is, is way too common in media now? Because it's just an easy, cheap way to do the whole, like, uh, visual interest kind of thing. No, it's fresh and new now because they're Mizuki's colors, okay? Alright. And, uh, anyway, here is Valhalla. So, let's get right into it. Yes, I, I'm me. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, I have my controllers. That's how I got here. Sukeban Games. Very cool. Konoyazo. <laughs> I love how everything's pixely, even the, um, the studios and stuff. Ooh. Glitch City, 2070X AD. A city that shouldn't exist. A tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nanomachines to keep them in check. Over them stand the White Knights that ensured all the laws are obeyed, something like that. Oh my god, this is like, well, a conspiracy theorist thing. Okay. Here, brutality in all its forms is an everyday reality. The quality of life for the non-powerful decreases at an alarming rate. You mean like right now? For many, this can be overwhelming. Some devote themselves to their jobs, their families, or even their studies. Some look for ways to escape this place, and others just give up. But for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. Damn! Is this apocalyptic or is this like right now? Because all this sounds like right now. <laughs> from a small road just seconds away from the main street, somewhere near the slums, you can find the Hall A of the BTC certified building, the VA11. But that's a mouthful, so we just call it Valhalla. A small oasis in the middle of the concrete desert, a fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. Oh, so everybody's life sucks, and we make it a little better. And it's here where the story unfolds. Ooh, so cool. Oh my god, it looks so 80s, doesn't it? Like those 80s arcade games that are all pixels and stuff. Goodbye, Miss Bartender. Let's go. Alright, new game. Thank you for playing Valhalla, or VA11 Hall A. <laughs> this game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. Um, I did that. I have some grapes right here because they're pretty silent when I'm on stream, and I have uh, a couple of. I have like a not an alcoholic drink, but like a little vitamin C drink because uh, my nose was itchy earlier, and I've got some water. So I think I'm all cozy. I'd get a blanket, except it's summer in Las Vegas, so I don't... <laughs> so not so much. All right. So sit back and relax. We hope you have a good time. And that goes for all you viewers, too. Let's cozy up.
also, it's funny how they're saying like a dystopian bartender game is is uh, cozy. Anna. Psst. Oh wait, let's see what we got here. Kirin lights. That's supposed to be like Kirin, but a light version of the beer. Um, looks like there's some cork boards on the wall. There's some kind of maybe those are jukebox machines. Um, no signal on the TV. We got a lot of thingies on the right. I don't know. Ice and age. Reset mix. Oh, this looks kind of cool. All right. Anyway. Psst. Hey, over here. Boo! Oh my God! There she is on the TV screen. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. Oh, are we, uh, self-aware now? Also, why are you fuzzing out? Are you like a hologram? Or is Iba back? Oh my god, it's Iba again, except her name's Anna now. Anyway, um, yeah, maybe, maybe the music's a little too loud. I'm not sure, but... I have the feeling. Alright. So our name is Joe, like Joanne. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo clad corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. Oh my god! Corgis and tuxedos! So cute! And I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. <laughs> In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya! Huh? Jill? Is Joe Jill? <gasps> oh. <sighs> just a dream. Okay. Hmm? There's something near the door. Chapter 1. Primera. Doesn't that mean first? I guess that would be chapter 1. Or is that like an appetizer? Your membership to Shining Fingered will <laughs> automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800. Man, they weren't kidding about inflation uh, by then. Um, make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. Oh my god, this is Ithosomnium Files again. <laughs> Press A to dismiss this message. Okay. Oh my god, so cute. So... She's got a selfie of herself and her boss on her phone. Maybe this is what they mean about um, life being so shit that you people are too into their jobs. Uh, so cute. She's got a t-shirt that says slut. Good for her. And she's got even a poster of her boss that says best boss in her room. This is a bit much. Although the, and then she's got all these booze bottles. Maybe for practicing at home. Maybe she's got a problem behind her kotatsu, but look at her little black cat! So cute! Alright, so four. Is that the cat? The cat is four? So who is that letter from? Nobody. Okay, I guess I'm unlocking the phone. Alright, Tuesday. I guess the... I'm, I'm assuming the 13th of... December, or else they've added a month to the year. Welcome, Jill. A-E, that's augmented I, right? Like A-I? No. <laughs> life backup 1.1. Yeah, we need to back up our life, right? We need to, to load it? Oh. Oh, is this, is this our life backup? Is this our, our save file? Oh, oh, all right, let's make a save file. 
Yeah, they're putting the uh, the um, day before the month, so it's probably the 13th of December. Okay. Oh, there's some different sets of save files. Oh my god, you can have 4, 8, 12, 16, 21, 25, um, something like that, save files? Damn. Alright, I wonder if anybody's ever needed that in the history of ever. Alright. Um, so life backup is our saving. So we gotta look at... Augmented Eye, right? The Augmented Eye. Mass emigration continues as Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborg and Heels returns next year. Now, see, these are like different. It's a newspaper, so she she has an $800 news subscription. All right. Cyborg and Heels returns next year. Cyborg and Heels returns next year to the Super Silver Thunderdome by Lana Smithy. The popular show Cyborg and Heels returns to the Dome this March with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborg and Heels is a massive stage show about a cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Hell yeah! Director Quentin Hayter explains Cyborg and Heels' special appeal during an exclusive interview with the Augmented Eye. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg wearing heels, cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never seen before. A niche market I'm willing to capitalize on. I think, I think this guy's uh, saying, uh, making some sense. Check out the full interview in the next few weeks exclusively here at the Augmented Eye. All right. Um, what about this mass immigration? This is also... Wow, All right. So, life sucks. No, I'm kidding. Mass emigration continues as Quincy reveals new economic adjustments by Kimberly Lavalette. With inflation rates among the highest in the world, constant shortages of basic groceries, and rampant violent crime, glitch city citizens look for a better life in other countries. Um, what if it's ha like that all over the world? What then? Quincy, however, isn't happy with this. They learn in our schools and universities. The Prime Minister says during the talk with the Augmented Eye, but they apply what they learn somewhere else, and I find it rather insulting. Um. <laughs> this comes after revealing new economic measures for the city, which most analysts consider to be useless for the current environment. They don't know shit, <laughs> concluded Quincy. <laughs> well, these people are more frank in this, uh, future. Um, Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Wonderlanders are the nearest, newest threat to your security. Beware! By Kimberly Lavalette. Do they have any other writers for this paper? If you thought Alice Rabbit was good at cracking the most complicated security protocols in the world, then this new group will certainly blow your mind. They've yet to make an impact as big as Alice Rabbit, but they seem to be aiming very high with the recent threats issued against Prime Minister Quincy. I guess um, Alice Rabbit is a hacker. We hold full access to Quincy's email network and database this January. Uh, the group declared during a stream. Hey, I'm streaming. Shallow threats. When questioned, Prime Minister Quincy dismissed all the group's threats by saying he is not hiding anything. and is not afraid of a possible leak of his email history. Maybe everyone will get to see what kind of TV I bought last month. Okay, I think I think that would make people more mad than you think. Um, wild parties. The people behind the Wonderlanders seem to enjoy dressing in all kinds of rabbit costumes during the stream. From Anthro to Bunny Girl, the purpose was to show the love and respect they all have for Alice Rabbit and their role in today's politics. So I guess, um... They are fans of the original hacker and are kind of continuing the original hacker's work, I guess. We want to follow their example while having some fun. We're not sure if this will go anywhere, but we'll be there to tell you if it does. Okay. I guess that's the news. Can we change the music?
Oh, I guess we can. What's uh, a neon glow lights? Welcome to Valhalla. All right. This is nice. Every day is night. All right. Yeah, let's let's leave it there, I guess. Or no, it's just it's just whatever I want to listen to. All right. Can we add an app? No. Oh, I wonder what Alma thinks of this whole thing. Says Jill. Oh my God, was she saying things the whole time, and I just did not look to the right of the screen? Oh fuck. I'm sorry. Is there like a? There's no like um thing you can look at to see what you missed. Oh well. All right. So I guess um we are gonna go to work. Tuesday, December 13th. Aha, it is December 13th. All right, we are at Valhalla. Um, people are beating the shit out of each other on TV. Uh, evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Well, hello, sir. Oh, hey, John. John and Jill, huh? When will you admit that you have a John face, Gil? Oh, <laughs> his name is Gil. Okay. Oh, so there is a log. There's something near the door. Oh, I didn't even check near the door. Whoops. Oh, well. Gillian. All right. And you let people call you Jules. Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's Boss? I don't know. She went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? He said something? Yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful and... Ah, there's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. Oh, shit. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. Oh, shit. Well, I guess four is the cat. There's all the beer cans around my apartment and... Jill! Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can! Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. Yay! Excuse for a tutorial! Mm. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? No, really, thank you, Gillian. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never bartended before. Let's start with a sugar rush. Ooh. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. Maybe I can make these in real life. Like, uh, my roommate's parents moved and they left behind for us their entire, like, booze collection. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have some things I can make drinks out of. Alright. Show up on the top left. Um, you'll use the directional buttons to move the cursor between the choices in the recipe book. You can also sort drinks by flavors, like sweet, or types, like manly. Manly drinks? I guess those are all like the whiskey ones with no fruit in it. Unless it's like a little lemon peel. <laughs> to add ingredients to the shaker, push the left analog stick in the direction of the desired ingredients. While the desired ingredient is highlighted, Press A to one unit of that ingredient. Oh, wait. Olives are technically fruits. Then that's a that's a manly fruit. Then. <laughs> While the desired ingredient is highlighted, press A to add one unit of that ingredient. Okay. 
skill. When you're done adding ingredients, press ZR to mix the drink. And then, oh, that's like the trigger. This is the trigger to mix the drink. Then press it again to stop mixing. If the drink is properly made, just press ZR to serve it. And that will be all. Oh, this is my little trigger for mixing the drink and serving it. Oh, pretty sexy. I guess that is kind of like shaking the drink. Here you are. Pour it. I, okay, I can be a bartender now. Oh, but if the drink looks mixed up, you'll need to press ZL to reset and try again. You can use ZL to reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Oh, well, that's very nice of you, game. Gil, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Then this should be no problem. Ugh. Gil wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients of the drink, I can press reset button to try again. Okay. BTC recipe book. Welcome back, Jill. Use the navigation bar to start browsing. By name, by flavor, by type, by bottle drinks. Oh, if I press L, that like shakes it. That's cool. All right. Um, let's see what's in a sh sugar rush. Sugar rush is two Edelheid. The fuck is that? And one powdered Delta, huh? With optional Carmatrine. What? All mixed. Sweet, light, and fruity. As girly as it gets. Sweet, girly, happy. Ooh. Um, what about... Um, what about Piano Man? A Piano Man is two Edelheid, three Bronson Extract. Okay, that does sound pretty manly. Uh, five powder delta, five flanner guide, and three carmatrine, all on the rocks and mixed. This drink does not represent the opinions of the Bar Pianist Union or its associates. Sour, primo, and strong. You know what? Oh, $320. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, Ichio san? I told you it was like cyberpunk bartending action, right? What, what, what were you imagining? Also, welcome. All right, I think I want to make a sugar rush. Okay, sunshine cloud. All right, sugar rush. All right, so that's two Edelheide. Oh, so I push the left stick and then I guess I push A to select it. One, two, one powdered Delta. I'll, I'll add the camatrine, whatever that is. All mixed, so I, I guess I mix it? Or, that's not how you mix it. Uh, oh, that's trigger button to mix, right. I don't know how long you mix it. Uh, stop. Success! Oh, that is a sugar rush, all right. Sir. Here, happy now? A little, but not quite. Let's do one more. Uh. I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over five seconds. Oh, okay. You can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. You thought cyberpunk bartender action was Assassin's Creed? Oh no, Valhalla, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> Whoopsie. Sorry, I play weirder games than that. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Alright. You can tell it's blended when the shaker starts moving faster. Alright. On a side note, the vibration of the shaker will feel more dramatic once the drink has become blended. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Do we have time for our customers to wait while we age the drink? To add ice, use the X button. To age a drink, use the Y button. Okay, this is a little more complicated. In case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice option. Yeah, that was kind of obvious. 
It should be noted that the station will add the ice after mixing. Ooh, technology. It's not something you should mind, though. Just a fun fact. Give me a moon blast, and I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I said. Come back next year. Gonna age your drink. <laughs> oh my god. Delanian. Yep, sorry. Not Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> also, Delanian. Um, you, weren't, you weren't in chat yesterday, but um, I made a Discord. It's, it's ready-ish. I'm gonna get you the link real fast. Okay, here you go. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's give Mill Gill a moon blast. Blended drinks need to be left to mix for at least five seconds before I stop the shaker. <laughs> you hate Blitzball that much? No, it was very educational. Like, uh, Kosen and Sho walked me through the whole thing, and now I'm pretty good, good at Blitzball. And it's technically, um, Celestial Weapons prog, because it's all for getting, um, Waka's Celestial Weapon. I ended up getting attack reels, so now Waka is like a badass. Anyway. And then I did go to the Omega Ruins, so next Sunday I'll actually fight Omega. So I did get through basically to the, all those things where there's all those enemies you have to fight in a row before Omega. And then, um, and then I, I died to a random Malboro, so I was like, you know what? Um, next week, I'll fight the <laughs> Omega next week. Alright, anyway. Let's, let's give Gil a Moon Blast. All right. Under oops, M. Mars blast, Mercury blast, or Moon blast? Okay. A moon, a hundred and eighty dollars. Moon blast. A moon blast is six Edelhide, one Powdered Delta, one Flanner Guide, Flanner Guide, Flanner Guide, and two Camatrine, all on the rocks and blended. No relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon for one week every month. Sweet, really happy. I really want to know what these are supposed to like be the real life equivalent alcohol equivalents of all right anyway we want some ice um and blended all right we need six edelhide one two three four five six one powder delta one flanner guide and two carmatrine there's a lot of stuff in here and then we Blend it. Oh wait, shit, 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 shit. I didn't, oh my God, I made a mystery drink. Serve it forth, no, I'm kidding. Um, well, shit, I didn't blend it. I, I was too quick on the button. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, 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 two. Oh, it's sure blended! Both of- WHAT?! WHY?! Do I need to blend it even more? Both of my Joy-Cons started vibrating. Did I screw up one of the- Alright, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. One. One, two. Oh, I forgot the ice! God damn it. That was it. That was it. All right, here we go. Third third tries the charm. Maybe I do need to go home. Yeah! Moon Blast, baby! I still got it. Sir. Not me, but Jill. Jill still got it. All right. Here! Did I amuse you for long enough? You did. Sorry to hold you. Let's get working. Yeah! See, I can bartend. I don't need to go home and cry about my life. Oh yeah, before I forget. Hmm? 
you can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. Ooh. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optimal carmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Oh my god, so it doesn't need to be one. I could just use as much carmatrine as I want. Optional carmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Carmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. Oh, so it's just straight up booze, and the other things are flavorings? So, I could have made that first drink totally, like, um, non-alcoholic. Just have a fruity drink. Gotcha! So, Karmatrine is like, what, vodka, and then the rest is just flavoring? If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. So, if I really want to get somewhere under the... Oh, thank you. Thank you for setting that up, Delanian. Alright, um... Client will get drunk blaster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe you could be a little peppy with an exclamation point, but it's not important. <laughs> it can be whatever. That's fine. Alright. Now I am, yeah. Dana. Hey, guys! Oh, bo Eh? Oh, so that's the, the boss that Jill has a huge crush on, okay. Wh who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Oh, like a stray kitten? Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious body in here. Oh, so it's a drunk girl. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. Or a drug addict? That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. What? Well, I guess she is the boss. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. There are two of you. Believe in yourselves. Well, I guess she's not the best boss ever. Uh, do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah. What? What the f? Oh, I guess there's a there's a fast button. I need to watch out for. All right, let me let me let me go back. Whoopsie. All right, I need to be careful what I press. Uh. You think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick up on... It's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems like she's just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay, then. Time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Uh, come again? While you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. Oh, right! The corgis and little tuxedos. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. That's only fair. Have fun! Just that? Fine, I see no problem. Uh-oh. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. That's... Um, okay. So those round uh, thingies on the right, those machines are the jukebox. I was right about that. All right. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision, right? Okay. Oh. Every day is night was pretty good. Oh, loading the preview. 
Oops. Hmm, let's see. The gays have invited. Troubling news? Who was I? Also, if anything sounds real good to you guys, I can put it in the jukebox. So, just shout it out. Good for health, bad for... Oh, is this... that is that an Akira reference? Alright, I'm cool with that. Drive me wild. Good for health, bad for education. That's the Akira reference, right? Alright, anyway, drive me wild. pretty okay. Let's see what else is there is. Oh, Umemoto? Plum? What else we got? All systems go? Ooh! This is like racing game music. I'm jamming. Alright. Where do I go from here? That's like a slow 90s ballad right there. Will you remember me? Kind of a slow, sad song. This is going to have our customers, like, crying in their drinks. All right. Everything will be okay. But really quiet. March of the White Knight. Hacker music. Ooh. Kind of, kind of unsettling. Uh, Renee? A Renee? That's pretty okay. Neo Avatar? Ooh. Those who dwell in the shadows? Also, if the music's too quiet, let me know. I like that. Nighttime maneuvers? It's pretty cool. Uh, star pierces the dark something. The darkness? Oh, wait. I didn't preview that shit. Oh, I can replace them with other things. All right. Snowfall seems nice. Oh, good balance? Good, thank you. How do I remove a song? Oh, remove songs by pressing X. It literally says right there. Okay. Um... Swap any two songs by selecting them consecutively. Oh, so they don't shuffle. It's just in a row. Gotcha. The answer lies within. Mm -hmm. Dawn approaches. Ooh. With renewed hope, we something. Also, nice reminiscence. Our customers are going to fall asleep, but otherwise, that's really nice. Um, digital drive. Oh, whoa. All right, uh, Metropolis. Yeah, if, if anything's like, hey, I want that on the playlist, uh, just shout it out. I guess that's okay, but... Eh. Neon District? Ooh. Ooh, that funky bass. 
Yeah, I'll put that on there. All right, uh, karma tree and dream, so alcohol dreams. It's a profession. It's pretty good. All right, skyline. Dusk? That sounds good for the bar. We got Heart of the City. Whoa. Rockin'. I'll think about that one. Let me look at the other ones. A city that never sleeps. Base of the Titans. Whoa. Kind of industrial sounding. Follow the trail. It's kind of stressful out of orbit Ooh. uh tense underground club i guess that could work I'm kind of into this. Okay. All right, two more. Showtime. Some of these have like really long beginnings before they get into like the meat of the song, whatever you call that part. Like the melody or whatever. I know like nothing about music theory. An alternate reality? I kind of like this. But it's also a little much. But I do like it. Hmm. The assignment? See. Oh, now we. Oh, there's. This is the last page. Let's see. Glitch City. A remix of Snowfall. Oh, hell yeah. Guitar. A remix of uh, Base of the Titans. Whoa, wowza, this goes hard. Oh, I gotta go all the way back here if I want to go to the first page. What do we got? Let me look at these again. Go to Valhalla. Alright, I'll have this be the last one, but isn't this like the regular song anyway? We gotta spice it up. Drive me wild. I'm like refreshing myself on some of these. Who was I? Troubling news. That's not bad. A gaze that invited. Alright, I'll put that as the last one. Alright, we're ready! That took a while, sorry. Alright, time to mix the drinks and change lives! Hey you, get me a beer! Oh, sure, right on it.
He wants a beer. Looks like quite the big guy, though. Welcome, Jill. Is there a recipe for beer, or can I just grab one? Beer. I mix beer? Damn. Oh, traditionally brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. Ah, it's part of the dystopianness. Uh, beer is one Edelheide, two Bronson extract. That's the manliness flavor, right? Whatever Edelheide tastes like. One, I'm, so I'm assuming Flanner Guide is like the sweet one. All right, one powdered Delta. Oh no, we need we have everything in here. Oh, so if it you mix everything together, it basically tastes like nothing. And four Carmatrines. So four Carmatrines is about the same amount of alcohol as one beer. All right. All right. Bubbly classic vintage. All mixed. And that's it, right? Yay, it's a beer. A fake beer. Here you go, sir. Here you go. No, no, this isn't going to cut it. Give me a big one. Uh, sure. All right, so I double all that. Bad touch? What? Bleeding Jane? What? Alright! So, we don't need to double it. So, two Edelhides, four Bronson Extract, one, two Powdered Delta, so he's gonna have a small beer and a big beer, four Planner Guide, and eight Carmatrine. Oh boy. Five, six, seven, eight. And we mix it. All right, sir, um, here you go. How about this one? Ah, yes, now this one's fit for a man like me. Right, you're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hell hole could certainly use a presence like mine. So you're a rich guy, okay. Although to be fair, work is taking me to worse hell holes like New Jersey 3. <laughs> huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson. Dawson. Donovan D. Dawson. Chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Oh my god! I know that newspaper! You only have one writer! <laughs> Donovan. Okay. So he's Donovan. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. So you um, approve the cyborg with heels. Gotcha. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then. Hey! People love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wildcard hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clit the, the clicks? Oh, the clicks. From all kinds of people. Like clickbait, gotcha. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars, and houses, and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. And her kids? Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. Your intern does? The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. Oh, so you're a fucking bastard. Okay. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. Wow, you just, uh, just put it out there in plain words. Second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors? Oh, well, good point. Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. Oh, man, that's a mood. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get dissented... Dissented... People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started this job, it only took news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. 
Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Death's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot. And even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money. And like I said, money's good. Huh. I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. <laughs> See? The kid on the restaurant critique column... Um, ah, uh, shit, forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. Oh my god. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. How about you start paying your interns that money and fire this guy? I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. Oh! X Ghoul, thank you so much for following. All right. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming he's a food critic. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? <laughs> no. Wasn't that one? There wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Uh, I gave you a beer. I gave you two beers. Like a small one and a big one. Coming right up. Again, beer again. This man likes his beers. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. <laughs> This guy sounds like he has money to burn. All right, I guess I'll make another big one. It doesn't specify, but I assume that's what he wants. All right, so two Edelhide, four Bronson Extract, one Powdered Delta, I uh, no, wait, oops, uh, reset. Um, two Edelhide, four Bronson Extract, two Powdered Deltas, two Planner Guide, and eight, Karma trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mix and what? No, don't don't serve that. Uh, what did I fuck up? Um, two Edelhide, four Bronson extract, two powder. What? Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Two Edelhide, four. Bronson extract, two powder delta, four flanner guides. Maybe that's what I did wrong before. Four flanner guides. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Parmatrines mix. There we go. And serve it. Here. Ah, uh, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. You've been sampling the merchandise? Yeah, maybe that's why I didn't put in enough. I just drink all of the failed drinks. I know, I'm getting drunk. I can't even make drinks anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, that was it then. My bad. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Uh, uh, right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, it's within my constitutional rights to call it a dog hole. I mean, a hell hole. Well, that was just because of the corgis and the tuxedos. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. <laughs> He's cleaning up all the dog pee. Who is that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole, if you like. 
charming. So, celebrities. Not really, at least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. Huh? You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folk people those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace pretend to love fall from grace why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells people pretend that they love celebs but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level they want to see them suffer so they get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them now i think gossip is just something everyone enjoys but nobody wants to admit enjoying you thought wrong but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movies was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh, please. As a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. Uh, even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is really indeed a nice guy indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, Brett? Well, two can play a cat game of... <clears throat> hey, you're a bartender, right? Uh, no, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe? Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Oh, okay. Figures. Uh, anyway, eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients round rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Two weeks from now? Oh, wait. Yeah, she just means that in general, but maybe that also refers to the uh, bar closing. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just the title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and my grandfather. It's too general, but Mr. Donovan. Now that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them, not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? I mean, aren't you rather personal with your boss, Jill? 
Oh, gods, no, but I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Um... Oh, yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Ah, yes, yes. But I need to cut myself off. I just remembered I have a night shift later. Give me something bitter. And big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. I, I need to get this guy fucking drunk. Because he's an asshole. I can do that. Alright, bitter, big, and with no alcohol at all. Right. What can I hide the alcohol in? Oh, I can search by flavor. Bitter drinks. Let's see. Sunshine cloud. Optional camatrine. It tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell, in smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. Bitter, girly, and soft. Alright, gut punch. Optional camatrine. But it's supposed to mean a punch made of innards. But the name actually feel like what you feel while drinking it. Bitter, manly, and strong. That might hide the flavor. Pile driver. Um, it doesn't burn as hard as the tongue, but you better not have a sore throat when drinking it. Bitter, manly, and burning. Uh, suplex. A small twist on the pile driver. More tongue burning, less the throat burning. Grizzly temple. Okay, so basically it has to be a sunshine cloud or a gut punch. Gut punch sounds like it would hide the flavor. So let's see. One flanner guide. Five Bronson extracts. And... Oh, I have to age it. And then, um... Alright, there we go. Alright, gut punch! Here you go, sir. Here. Kid, I just said I needed to stop the alcohol, not that I needed more. Sorry, force of habit. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole? There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. I couldn't fool him. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food ch Oh no, wait, sorry, that's Jill. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Um. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing so I'll make you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive, and there's always that one guy or gal that says, hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while keeping the production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks! I'll show them what it means, what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is! Should I be worried? Nah. Oh my god, is he finally gone? At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. I never heard from him again. Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? She tried to warn you, dude. That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The, the ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents? Shh, you'll wake up Briar Rose over there. Oh, right. The, I won't forget this. Oh, yeah, the, the uh, sleep chick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... 
big gut punch. Best. Hey, I just made one of those. Alright, he wants a gut punch. I want to give him a gut punch. Alright. Alright, maybe I should make this one max alcohol too. What do you guys think? Should I make this gut punch max alcohol too? Or non-alcoholic? Or just medium? Ten Bronson extracts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, what do you guys think? Should I do I do max alcohol, no alcohol, or like medium alcohol for this guy? Medium. All right, like five chermatrines. All right, a bit, a bit, maybe six. All right, let's go. Oh wait, shit, I need to age it, fuck. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> age, okay. Sorry about that, 10 Bronson extracts. Two flanner guides and six. Parmatrine. Okay. All aged and mixed. There we go. Here you go, sir. Here. Hmm. You can actually do it then. Hmm. This crack house is a bar. Hell hole crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? Oh my god, that's exactly what the other guy said. I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says... Sorry for the qu question then, Mr. Ingram McDougall. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please... Let me know what I can do to make your experience a more more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel? What? For a couple of hours? No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede on one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has a decent taste. Yeah, that's me! Hey, Jill, where did you put the dish soap? Her gills run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, customer, good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself. Knock him out cold one by one. I knew she was dangerous. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? She's got a mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax though, I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry, and the other one a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but... There's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything <laughs> afterwards. 
<laughs> My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. He wants a pile driver. Honestly, I feel like suplexing him, though. Oh, can I give him a suplex? I know that's a drink, too. So he really likes bitter drinks, huh? Should I give him pile driver or suplex? Now I'll give him pile driver. Alright. Does he want it extra big like the other one? Alright. All mixed. It doesn't burn as hard on the tongue, but you better not have a sore throat when drinking it. Bitter, manly, and burning. I'm gonna make it double since he wanted a double before. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna get this guy plastered. And it's just mixed, right? Yeah. Pile driver. Here you go, sir. Here. Mm, it's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? <laughs> None of your business, sir? I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you've ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. Um, maybe I shouldn't get this guy drunk. He seems scary. Oh, I think people d usually don't mind them big unless they specifically say so. Oh, good to know. Thank you. So, um, you've, you've played this game before, Gooey? I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. <laughs> Still, that's uh, quite the random thought to suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. Uh, of course you were. Hey, I'm going to need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. All right. What the heck is a fringe weaver? All right. Fringe Weaver is one Adelheid. Whoa! -ho -ho! Okay, I'm, it looks like I'm gonna get this guy drunk no matter what. Um, $260. All aged and mixed. It's like a drinking eth ethylic alcohol with a spoon's full of sugar. So Adelheid is the sweet stuff. Okay, Adelheid is sweet. Nine Karmatrines. And um, it needs... It, it needs to be aged. And then mix a uh, fringe weaver. Um, man, I, right when I was going to say I'm not going to make this guy drunk, he orders this thing. Oh, is that on the corner how much money I've made? That's good. Except I know inflation's terrible, so that's actually like a pittance. $17, $20, dollars $7, But still, here you go. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey lady, have you ever felt empty? Well, you seem to feel very empty. <laughs> empty how? Like, hungry? No, I mean empty, like there's a part of you missing. Yeah, this was a mistake to get this guy drunk. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, like the one on the TV right now, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative, which is bitches and alcohol. <laughs> 
I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left midway through. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Um... Have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. <laughs> At least you should. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. <laughs> You're on your own, buddy. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. Huh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. Whew. Boss? <laughs> I'm gonna take my break after those two dudes in a row. All right. All right. Here we are, Valhalla. Cyberpunk bartender action. Let's save the game. Oh my God, look at our staff. They're so cute. All right, a smart break. It is now safe to keep playing. All right. Oh my God, look, Sigibon Games year 2069, nice. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Oh. Um. I, don't know. I guess maybe I'll change one out. Like maybe gaze that invited with something else. This one, why not? Swap any two songs by selecting them consecutively. I th that's what I thought I was doing. Or I can just take it out. Right. Okay, there we go. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Good ev- Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry, it's so comfortable I usually forget I have it on. Oh, I thought it was actually a robot. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, Miss Master Specialist A.P. Asakiri of the 765th Division at Valkyrie Corps at your service? Wait, that's too long. Just, just call me Say. What can I get for you, Say? Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too. Um, but not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. Um, more so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Um, sorry, did you get that? Alright, so... Small drink that is cold, so ice and sweet, and not alcoholic. A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I could do that, give me a sec. Alright. Look for sweet drinks. Sugar Rush kind of sounded like sweet, small, sweet, and icy. I wonder if something's both specific. No, that doesn't need any ice. Sparkle Star. That's not icy. That's not icy. Moonblast. Oh, Moonblast. That might work. Moonblast moon is the only option. All right. Right, six Edelhide. Um, one Flanner Guide. Two Carmatrine. One Powdered Delta. Um, all in the rocks and blended, so I gotta make sure I've ice engaged. And then it's been a while, but I'm gonna blend it. Blast! 
take off. Let's go. Here you are. Ah, yes, this is just what I needed. Thanks. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. Oh, so white knights are like this. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with the riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking of the Blitzkrieg Corps. The one with the huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we are different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe the suffering, those suffering enemy attack. Oh, so you're like a, the medical corps? You're a medic? We are the light of hope in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. Oh, thank you, Delanian. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilian, civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. Nice! must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was all almost dreamlike. Th that, that's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights, and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but never mind. Wait, did I miss here, and you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated sighs from people after everything's said and done, but don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make don't make it too big. D does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Classy drink. Simple enough. All right, so I guess we have a bit of flexibility with this one. Hmm. Oh, by type. Classy drinks. All right, we got. Oh no, are we gonna give her a bad touch? Um, all on the rocks and mixed. We're nothing but mammals after all. <laughs> Sour, classy, and vintage. I wonder if the Flanner Guide or the either the Flanner Guide or the pa Powdered Delta is the sour stuff. Maybe the Flanner Guide. Oops. What else? Um, brand Teeny. Oh, that's sweeter. This might be like she'd like. Um, eight out of ten smug assholes would recommend it, but are too busy being smug assholes. Sweet, classy, and happy. Um, cobalt velvet. That sounds nice. Oh, that's pretty alcoholic. I don't know if she'd want that. It's like a champagne served on a cup that had a bit of cola left. <laughs> Bubbly, classy, and burning. No fringe weaver. Fringe weavers are classy? You could like, you could like clean, you could like cl clean metal with fringe weaver mercury blast. No thermometer was harmed in the creation of the drink power. I'm gonna give her a, a, the smug asshole one, Brantini. Okay, the six Edelheid, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the sweet one. Three powder delta. One carmatrine. Gotta age it. 
and we mix it. Yay, Brantini. Here you go. Here you are. Yup, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I want to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? You know my name. Now I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. 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 Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian and Gillian. Can you imagine? Jillian. Ju Julianne. Do not call me Julianne, please. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow. I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. <laughs> My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. Oh my god, so it literally smells like a vet office in there. Got it. I know exactly what this smells like now. <laughs> uh... What made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved him. Whoa! That's, that's intense. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since, I felt like this was my calming, calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh. It's interesting, though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself toward judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to, to an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going to patrols, into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think, now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes, rescue, assault, there's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But if you are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but a fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. And besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I love something else. I remember some drink called a... Uh, martini? Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's a martini. It's Brantini, trust me. I'll get you one. That's what I just made for her. She wants a Martini. Sorry, Brantini. I just made her a Brantini. Um, I literally just made her a Brantini. Alright, fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one two, three. Um, aged. And mixed. Here, see? Hi. 
Huh, you were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. So there's no mention of how this is the second time she's she's had this. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult though. She's more into um classier places. Not that this place isn't nice, but don't worry, I know the kind of place I work in. Uh, I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... What was that? It sounded like an explosion. I'd better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check what the ever-loving hell that explosion was. It's too awkward to mention it now. Oh, good point. <laughs> Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. The explosion finally woke that girl up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. But Valhalla? Am I dead? Does that mean that Uncle Ingus' ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Oh my god! Called it! Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? <gasps> Alright, then, where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers, robbers, rapists, pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Otherwise, we'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, and have your horrible way with me and brutally murder me, don't you? All while still violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Murder, 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 Interrupt interrupt me well this is going nowhere let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down or throw at her face think carefully she'll something that will calm her down something with booze um wait let's see let's see let's see what's calming um maybe like a girly drink with a lot of alcohol in it or bottled drinks uh Fedora with perfume and plum. What is... No, 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 no. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, let's see. It tastes like gold chocolate milk with good smell and tags. It tastes like caramel, too. Um, a couple of these on your tongue will make you feel velvety. More of them and you'll be sleeping soundly. This sounds good. All right. Three Edelhide. Three Powdered Delta. And like... Five Karma Trees. Ah! Damn it. Three Edelhide. Three Powdered Deltas. And like... Five Karma Trees. Aged. And... Fluffy dream. Here you go. Oh, what is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Dr bar serve drinks. A uh, bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it up with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? Pumpkins? G God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. They wouldn't just fire you? Okay. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired or lose benefits to go to, or go to jail. Yeah, there you go. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all of that is just... Ugh. Even if you say that... Let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. 
<laughs> Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street? And now about the drivers or anything? I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about it? Oh my god! <laughs> How? Why? How? I'm back! He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk at the store. He even knew your name. Good point, but first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink, go through the door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Huh? And what about the drink? Are you going to let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll, I'll let you know that I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter. Um... Not sure you should drink it all so fast. Oh, so she's drinking it. So, how was it? Hmm. It was fine, but not something I'd order normally. Are you alright? Yeah. I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd probably have reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets. Stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. She's asking for a piano man. You don't see women asking for a piano man every day. Right, because they have a piano woman. Piano woman. So, I actually did not make a piano man earlier when uh, Gillian uh, prompted me. So, um, all right. Let's see. Two Edelheid, three Bronson extracts. Ew, expensive drink. Three hundred twenty dollars. Five powdered Delta. Five Flanner Guide. And three karma train. So um, this drink does not represent the. I read that before. It's all on the rocks and mixed. It's sour, promo, and strong. What does promo mean? Like promotional? All right, mix. Piano man. Ooh, it looks nice. Serve. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. Oh my god! What did he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly a pianist left off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. It does? I see. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend th of his that had just died. Apparently it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. That's like all the flavors. All the flavors are in the drink. 
Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling on into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Don't tell me. Are you an intern for that asshole? I just noticed the TV. I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd buy for a that dollar. All right. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? I called it! You were writing those articles I read this morning. I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> uh, harsh words The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff He's so forceful about the things he wants That people have, have it done before they realize what's going on He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was And would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance Despite having no previous experience It's kind of admirable But at the same time, I hate his guts Ah! Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ah! Why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? N no, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with the wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is! She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's a bit, been a bit tense the last couple of days, but even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'll, she'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although um, I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. The third Brantini of the night. Coming right up. She wants a brand, sorry, a mar- Ah! Uh, a Brantini! Yeah, that. All right. I feel like I probably don't even need to check it now, but I probably do. All right. Six Edelheide. Five, six. Three Powder Delta. One Carmatrine. Aged and mixed. Here you go. Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers! <coughs> um, are you alright? Yeah, just a bit <clears throat> dizzy. And you're clearing your throat? It <coughs> helps me focus a bit. Yeah, I'm better now. Hey Jill, do you work with other women? I work for a woman, but my only co-worker is male. Why? You lucky bitch! Or, I mean, uh, y you have no idea the heaven you live in. When I started my internship, every intern was female. Have you ever tried competing with women for a good spot? They are relentless. Have you tried making friends with any of them? Friends? Those cunts aren't in it for friendship. They're out for blood. Uh, sorry, I mean, um, the other day I got an assignment and all I got for my efforts was an afternoon spent locked in the bathroom. 
And this other time, when our supervisor praised me, I'm still looking for my briefcase. Oh my god, they are vicious. Ugh! Sometimes I want to take all those bitches and throw them in the sewers or something. Let the lizard men feast on their livers. I'm just so tired of having to deal with that. Tired of having to put up with them. Tired. Tired. Hmm. No sleeping here, please. Do you want me to call you a cab? Would you be so kind? Hey, it's Jill. Can you send us a cab? The client? Just a second. Hey, Kim, I'm gonna need your full name. Kimberly Lavalette. Wow, what a flowery name. I feel like I've seen Lavalette somewhere, like, on her phone earlier. Kimberly Lavalette. No, I have no idea how to spell it. No, she's too sleepy to answer that. Okay, fine. Thanks a lot. They'll be here in... A minute. She's been through a lot today, I guess. Hey, Jill, bathroom's done. I'm leaving. Guide Miss Vallette to her cab on your way out, please. Oh, she woke up and fell asleep again. Sure, anything for a client. Excuse me, miss. Please help me let me please help me walk you to your cab. Mm, Pickpockets. Mm. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Oh, I can see her mechanical arm now. Her left arm there when she's crossing her arms. Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Hmm? Not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Oh my god, this is like I the Somnium Files. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Yay! First day at work. That was hell. Alright, um, total earnings. Wow. Imagine um, earning $2,400 in one night, except... It's terrible inflation, so it's like nothing. Oh, zero mistakes? If you guys say so. I guess I did um, not serve them mistaken drinks. All right. Total earnings, $3,060. Drinks total, $2,360. I got a 30% commission. Uh, I got a payment for today. I got $700 in tips. Nice flawless service bonus. $500, and here's an extra for helping that girl calm down, and today's total transfer, okay. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically, that's the same as before. Um, I do have at least $800 by then. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plan. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can, oh, ooh, a hollow plant, eh? You can browse danger slash you slash you can now visit JC Elton's. Is that like online shopping? Let's see. Weren't you going to have curry yesterday? A ghost took my money. <laughs> oh no. That's right. Now she ended up with zero money and now she has 2000 Alright. Um, welcome, Jill. Let's see. What's that? Danger. Dangerous opinions. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. What it says on the tin. So what's the news on them? Mm, drawing a blank right now. I haven't heard of Alice in a while now that I think of it. You think they're planning something? There's this constant rumor I hear about a terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, please. I have enough as it is. Lol, we're going to be attacked, and it'll be funny to see those white knight fucks do nothing but drink. How do you know if you get hacked by Alice? It's my first time reading about them. Lurk more. She normally leaves a funny ASCII drawing and a message, something like, Happy not birthday! Sounds lame as fuck. Why is Alice even a celebrity? The hell? Alice was the one who leaked all the internal white knight memos. 
She literally started the riots with the leaks. At least try, at least try with your baits. The threat is closed. Oh, so it's like this is like 4chan or um, it's basically Reddit, isn't it? With the slash u slash, it's Reddit, isn't it? All right. Um, Miki concert. Okay, let's limit all the concert conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? I'm going with my boyfriend. Boyfriend, why would you lie on the internet? Boyfriend, haha, ha, oh wow. Fucking normies, get out. That's so cute and on. Anyway, I'm going with a very special friend of mine. Are you the girl from the other day who had a crush on her best friend? Yes. So you're finally going to confess? Oh my god, this is going to be the cutest thing. But I don't know if I like her. Just wait until Miki shows up. You'll know right away if you love her. Trust me, I've been there. How so? You'll understand once you're there with her. Miki concerts are some magical shit. Is this like Miku concerts? Is this Vocaloid? All right, Miki concert two. In the last thread, Anon wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know. And how is she? I bet she's one of those cute, clueless girls who can't catch your signals. Hmm, you say that, but she can be incredibly sharp sometimes. So I was right. That's going to be difficult now that you have to be direct. Now you have to be direct and to the point. I'm afraid that's going to be the case here. N not that I'm actually in love. Stop. You can see Jill comment on the things she reads on the right. Oh, I keep forgetting to look right. Oh my God. Thank you. I keep forgetting to look to the right. Does anyone know of childhood romances that ex succeeded in real life? You're just lonely. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I missed that last time too. So I was right, that's gonna be difficult, but now you have to be direct to the point. I'm afraid that's, oh right, right. I'm going to marry Miki. Stop with such an, stop being such an attention horror. We are here for Miki. Come on and on, don't be mean. We just want to help a fellow Miki sister. You, you don't have to fight just because of me. It wasn't my intention to derail the thread. Don't pay attention to her, everyone else who wants to help you. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. Now who's the attention whore again? This thread is closed. All right. Happy not birthday, cheeky bastard. That page looks silly. It's amusing in its own way. All right, gotcha. All right, let's look at the news today reading it every morning local woman local hero local woman local hero by lana smithy this morning a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman um the incident occurred at the artemis will mall where some people where people meant notice someone at the rooftop of the building firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noticed by pedestrians but the person jumped off without notice Oh, shit. A mysterious rescuer. Just when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, the local woman was able to catch them mid-air and flood the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall's taking extra securities now. Mid-air? That sounds a bit too fantastical. I wonder if it was Say. But, I mean, if Say works for the government, like, for the institutions that be, I guess it wouldn't make much sense for her to run away. But pretty cool 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting by Lana Smithy this is not really a surprise but a lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food this is from a survey we conducted here at the augmented eye last month we asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes at the total of 6,000 votes it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good because it sucks. It sucks so much. I barf a little every time I smell it. How can anyone like that? It's ridiculous. Ugh, I can't even finish this article. I'm sorry, everyone, but I have to puke. Blech. I hope it's not put out of sale. I hope it's put out of sale. The Jill says the shrimp is so artificial it doesn't trigger my allergies. So she's allergic to shellfish, huh? Um... I kind of like the ramen with the little little shrimpies in it. The little cup ramen with the little shrimpies in it. It's not, I mean, it's not as good as chicken or beef, but it's not bad. It's kind of funny how they can get those little shrimps to end up so tiny and styrofoamy. Like, how 
did they completely dry them to the point that like all moisture was sucked out and they turn out to be these tiny little shrimpies? On the other hand, um, this is like a dystopian future, so maybe the shrimp isn't even real. Because she's not even having a bad time with it. Alright. I think Alice Rabbit may be a dog. Don't trust this dog. This is a bad Shiba Inu by Lana Smithy. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near human speeds. Oh, is that the corgis with the tuxedos? Did they have brain enhancements? So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog who does their brilliance for programming? It makes a lot of sense, right? Well, maybe I cannot read binary. I'm sorry. I'm sure somebody on the internet has translated this, but, um, not me. Those purple numbers. Do you know anything about the purple numbers? There's like black numbers, purple numbers, and magenta numbers. I don't know what to make of this. Um, all right. Listen to some music. All right. Let's see, what else can she do? Let's let's shop. JC Elton's. Oh, that's so cute. Look at her out on the town. And you call yourself a gamer girl, can't even read binary. Wow. Is that what the standards are nowadays? Maybe standards are too high. You ever asked yourself that? I'm just kidding. Cute clay houses. $500. Feel the thrill of being scanned by souvenirs without <laughs> leaving Glitch City. Maneki Neko. They say these bring luck, but it's paws broken, so I would trust him. Kira Miki poster. I could tear one off my wall in the vicinity, but hell knows what germs they have. Um, oh yeah, Miki. The um, concert. Right? Cutesy game poster. Poster for some cutesy game about pink-haired witch flying on a broom. Sorted cartridges, they're games no collector wants, but still nice for displaying. Right. Crack Dharma, a Japanese souvenir that has seen better days, still has a vintage charm to it. The, vet the Retribution is CO, is what it reads. Thank you! Thank you so much! The translation. The Retribution is CO or CO. Mysterious, but thank you so much for the translation. Alex Figurine from cult classic video game Yik. His beard grows in real time. Movie poster, Night of the ID Snatchers, the beloved police mockumentary, Mega Christmas Tree. So celebrate the bastardized commercial version of an already bastardized celebration. Replica toy Turing, not as sentient, but just as cute. Like, like Alan Turing? Or, right, PC9X? Do you have a computer? It's a vintage gaming. Experience all the cumbersome load times as they were meant to be. Oh my god, I totally need to get that. But I want to see if I can have enough money left over after the hollow plant. Oh shit, I won't. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm getting the PC9X. Anyway, Joker Cyclone. Despite the noisy name, it's just a fan. Fans are good though, really good. Hollow plant memory of a real hotted, potted plant. Paper lantern. Thanks to the chemical coating preventing bugs from eating it, we advise against using it. Oh god. Beer on discount. The owner is trying to quit drinking, so he's selling them dirt cheap. Meet the staff. This one's a scrap of paper with download code for meet the staff scribbled. Um, okay. Kiramiki banner. A sashimono or war banner with Kiramiki's face on it. Fills you with fanaticism. Maybe I should become a Miki stan. Alright, shoulder massager for the days where you've built up too much tension. Since Jill's needs something like that, maybe I'll get that too today. Mulan tea, a coveted tea based liquor. Ooh, tastes like green tea and kicks like whiskey. Ooh, that's not bad. Um, Alright, let's get a hollow plant. Yes, I know, I want to buy the hollow plant. Um. And I want the shoulder massager. Alright, I think that's good. 
All right. Bill, Jill bought herself what she wanted, and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Yay! All right, I think we're uh, we're good to go to work. Let's. Oh, so if you buy, as you buy stuff, her room will change. That's cute. You can see the like hologram potted plant on the right there. Where's the shoulder massager? Oh, I'm sure it's somewhere. I hope she's using it. All right, let's go to work. Wednesday, December 14th. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Oh my god, she's wearing the helmet. Ah! That's a sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the count. Wait, do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and really, really cool. And it matches your mechanical arm, boss. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was... Ah! Don't run! You have work to do! I'm not going back to Hong Kong! Hong Kong? Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you all set? Yep. All right. All right. Do we have any new music? I kind of want to switch some of these around. Oh, I can. That's how you switch stuff around. It was getting a little repetitive yesterday. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see. So I haven't played the game myself yet, just discovered it recently and hoping to pick it up during the summer sale. Ooh, I see. Well, I hope this gives you a good preview then. I think I bought this on a sale too a while back. This is one of those things that's just kind of been in my library forever, but I never actually played. So, um, yeah, that works. So hopefully you get it for a cheap price too. Exciting. That's right, summer sale. I keep forgetting about stuff like that. All right, time to mix drinks and shit. You! Oh, Miss Kim. Because of you, I got up late and lost a full day of work. And on the day, everyone got a nifty assignment too. Wait, because of me? You were the one that got me drunk and made me fall asleep like a goddamn log. So you arrived home safely, that's nice. That's all you have to say? What do you want me to say? If I felt remorse over every client that gets drunk in here, I wouldn't be working. But, true, morally speaking, I shouldn't let people get drunk, but getting people drunk is the unspoken main purpose of my job. And I did say that I didn't know how much alcohol you could handle, didn't I? I, ah, uh, that's right. I only made that extra drink that she specifically asked for because she said she could handle it. Seriously, what kind of answer is that? Ugh. Oh, hello, Mr. Donovan. He's back? Do I know you? Hey, Brett, you're in luck. I have decided to bless this place again. So you remember me, but not your intern? Wow. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. Where can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? A beer? The usual, gee, I wonder what he means. An enormous beer. I'm gonna make you give me double money. Yeah, that's eight. What? What I fuck 
up. Oh, the two flanner guides again. I did it again. Oh my god. Four flanner guides. I made the same mistake again. I am tasting the birch dice. There we go. Take it. Give me four hundred dollars. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we are we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday, too. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Miki? Yesterday, I was tuning to the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And I, like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. Isn't that your fault? You're the one who made him competitive. How was the interview? Easy enough, the fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers help. We've come a long way in the department of Lilim's sex appeal, I tell you. She was a Lilim then? Oh, is that like a replicant? Or a, like a Chobits? Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. Like a sexy android? I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm. Hey you, the guy with the John face. <laughs> huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? Oh! She's like, no, I don't want to go back to Hong Kong. Uh, I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Oh, good for you, Gillian. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So, I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damned riots broke out. Seriously, though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, that's still segregation. And once people start crying, segregation, like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. Oh, like X-Men kind of thing? And everything is mostly the aftermath of the previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. Another Industrial Revolution? I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Huh, <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean feat, Brett. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's... One of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza-faced pencil neck. And wasn't gonna allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like you suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Canto what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In 
In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. R right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? Um, sh sure, on it. You want to Mars Blast? That's a change of pace, all right. Um, one of these is enough to leave your base red like the actual planet. Spicy, manly, and strong. All blended. Okay. Six Bronson extracts. Wait, wait. Come on, come on. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One powder delta. Four flanner guide. And two Karmatrine. All blended. It really starts shaking. Yeah, there it goes. Mars Blast. Take it. Here. Alright, guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey, kid. I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if you guys said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. What did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff? How they feel like they have more power than you do? All that? Oh, yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in what? But let me tell you something. There are people worse than y your investors. Who? Your clients. I excuse me? Your readers! If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff, and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. Oh my god, cancel culture. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch you said something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. What the fuck? They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. <laughs> God! I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. Yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to prevent present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kind of... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason, she just didn't. Oh, is that Kim? I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay some or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Want something... I wonder if some alcohol would help him too. <laughs> um, well... Uh, I feel like a gut punch would do it. Let's see what the other ones are like. This one's unbearable. <laughs> it's 
mostly for fans of the movie it was used in Grizzly Temple. Um, primo, bitter prim promo bland. That doesn't sound great, actually. Suplex. Bitter manly burning and small twist on the pile driver, putting more emphasis on the tongue burning and less on the throat burning. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, oh, this is the gut punch is the one you can really spike. I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. One. And um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's get him smashed when he goes back to work and ruin his reputation. Wait, no, that didn't work last time. But I did try to put 10 Parmatrine in it and it didn't work, so maybe eight will work? Whatever, he didn't tell me not to give him alcohol. Aged, it has to be aged, okay. Make it big, so get some more money out of him. Ooh! Yes, thank you. All right, 10 Bronson Extracts. Two Flander Guides. And I'll keep it at eight Karma Trees. Nine. Whatever, whatever. Needs to be aged. Mix it. Here you go, sir! I'm gonna get all the money out of you. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, that kid Joel Jean Guillermo Hirohito. I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about the idol I interviewed. Oh, he's a simp? For Miki? I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I don't know, I, I feel like I cock-blocked him big time today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anybody, not even my worst enemies. Well, may maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint, kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock block another man <laughs> unless he's trying to fuck your mom. <laughs> what if it's your dad? Did I stutter? So if he wants to fuck your dad, it's, it's free game. Don't cock block him. Okay. Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Ah, see, that'd mean he's, he'd be off work and I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk to no end about her, so... My god, what game he got us involved in? I'm... <laughs> Isn't this like the second time you've said that? <laughs> I know, I'll, oh, I know, I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column, it's shit anyways. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you, please come again. Don't, that'd be something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um, tiring. I agree, Jill, doing that voice for so long is making my throat really dry. You've been trying to navigate through cock blocking both times, I think. <laughs> I think you're right. Because <laughs> I have like, everybody in Date's life kept cock blocking him. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very funny. I appreciate it, though. Very nice voice work. <gasps> Thank you! 
Oh my god, I really don't even know what it sounds like. I gotta listen to myself later. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie-type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know? I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper... What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> I thought about that too. <laughs> Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where is her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris. Iris! This is really just like I, the Somnium Files. I didn't, I didn't mean to play the same game twice. All right. Uh, <laughs> I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I think I've heard Cheap call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, can we kill this one? Oh my god. You don't even know this Iris yet. It sounds like she's helpful. She can take off weird robo helmets. More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust the boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey, can you see me? Are, we, are you that girl from the beginning of the game? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? But you wouldn't kill me. Let me kill the last one permanently. Del, every single place, every single timeline except the music. No, actually, including the music he won, unless they get her money. Basically, every single playthrough except the true ending has Iris die. That the, the, the true ending is the Iris lives timeline. Because even if she wasn't murdered, she had terminal cancer. So she might be alive in the Mizuki one, but she'd have to somehow get all that money to, to um, pay for her uh, nano machine surgery. Uh, um, and you keep bringing her back. I was happy and then you destroyed my happiness. Well, blame Ushikoshi, not me. He's the game. He's the guy who keeps making these games with different timelines. We're probably gonna have to deal with multiple timelines in the sequel I'm gonna play next week. Anyway, who sold you? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon. And are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Uh, care to explain? Have you seen the pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible. Oh, people are into that? Come again. There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Actually, I'm not shocked. Where you can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that'd make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Oh, the camera on the boss's helmet. Oh. Um, what's the bacon for? I have no idea. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. So if you're invisible to cameras, that's that's more like um, for illicit activity of a different kind. <laughs> oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo model. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that's recently branched to civilian appliances. Oh boy. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? 
If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost to the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie, surroundings-colored blob. And we Lilim see things differently. Oh, I knew you weren't a real human! So Dorothy is one of those, like, Chobits sex androids. <laughs> and we Lilim see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Nothing important. Wait, was that that girl trapped in the TV again back there? What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. So, Lilims can drink alcohol without short-circuiting? Okay. Sure. Dorothy wants a piano woman. Simple enough. Wow, technology these days. You can... They can drink alcohol without short-circuiting. Alright, well, I've made a piano man, but now I make a piano woman. It was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complained there should be a piano woman if there was a piano man. Sweet promo happy. Alright, five Edelhide. So it's like manly, it's like bitter and sweet at the same time. Bitter sweet and um, a little sour. It has like all the flavors in it. One, two, three, four, five. Edelhide. One, two, three, four, five. Broad snack drink. I'm just gonna give her a regular sized drink because I'm kind of curious just how she drinks alcohol. Right, three planner guides, three karma train, age, and mixed. Piano woman. It does look a lot like a piano man with like some more decorations, I guess, and a different class. All right, serve. One piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. But yeah, look at her little segmented fingers, her little robot fingers. That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy is so nice giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. Oh, her, her unsettled face. <laughs> I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there really isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know, if you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed, and I'll keep you company. Oh my god, we're turning into um, Blade Runner 2049 here. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Um, I hope not the get naughty part. Do you pay him to finish that sentence and I'll make you truly become invisible? Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. And, ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you last year last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday... Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd ra- ah! I did- I did it again. God damn it. Um... What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Oh, that, that wasn't so bad then. Um, nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. Yeah, like the Hong Kong riot thing? And, you know, people lie. Oh, you're taking on that, that weird guy's mannerisms. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know? Did I tell any lies? No, but never mind. 
Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it, she put it on, now she's stuck. Oh, yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if I could use a glass bottle as a... Ahem, a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know? Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird? The, the guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his dog. Oh my god, it's that guy. Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. It's that guy! It's that guy! Three years? Yeah, one day, a, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part of his on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh my god. This guy's tragic backstory. Well, no wonder he's empty. He's like, lost his mind after his daughter died or something. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody, I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. One moon blast coming right up. Well, what happens if I do give her a big drink? Oh, I can't make it big. It's already big. All right. Six Edelhides. One powder delta. One planner guide. Two chemistrine. I'm getting faster at this. On the rocks. And blended. Yeah, there we go. Moon blast. There you go. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Ew! Yes and no. Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. And you look like babies outside the factory? Nope, every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. Ew! And you were judging him. I'm still judging him. He was still weird. I'm just like, oh, you have a dead daughter. That kind of explains why you feel empty. That's all. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? People hire me half the time, it's not because I'm me. The amount of role playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. I bet he plays a bartender game with her. I mean, possible. That's pretty meta. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. Right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Who the fuck is this guy? Obviously, he's augmented. Welcome to... Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would, it would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules and I make sure every time you sit, you hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Jamie is jacked. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. 
Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay, honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. It'll, I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Yeah, same. Okay, then, let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud and one gut punch. Press next after the first mix to make the second drink. Make both before serving. Okay. Sunshine cloud. I don't think I've made one of those yet. That's the one with that tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. So it's kind of chocolatey. Um, so two Edelheid. Two Bronson extracts. So sweet and bitter. Oh, a big one. I guess I'll do some alcohol in it. Four of each. Why not? Ro on the rocks. And blended. There we go. Sun cloud. Alright, next. I'm gonna make a... Um, oops. Gut punch. I've made a few of those now. The five Bronson extract. If I doubled it, it's not that expensive anyway. Um, one planner guide and optional cover tree. I'll give it five. Aged and mixed. All right. Take your drinks. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something, uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. Oh my god! I can give you a discount if you pay for the room and invite me to dinner. Oh my god! No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC72 line leaves tracking nano machines and the other person after, well... After they violate every hole in your body, regardless of its original purpose? Oh my god! Um, yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted, or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories of DFC-72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. Holy shit! Oh my god, so you actually can marry your anime waifu in this world. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nanomachines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. Oh my god. There's also this urban myth that these mana machines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. I think Dorothy is the most cursed customer so far. Like, by a long shot. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you. Please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my 
Girl, I need your girly hands for a second here. Or Gil, I need your girly hands for a second here. Coming. Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry, you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can't. Mars Blast. Mars. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by accident. Yeah, there's a lot of blast. Mars Blast, Mercury Blast, Moon Blast. I've made a Mars Blast. Oh, it's um, six. I can't make it big. It's already big. All right. Six Bronson Extracts, one Powder Delta, four Planner Guides. Um, two Karma Tree. All blended. There we go. Mars Blast. There you go, sir. Here. Bitter and mind numbing, just like war. Okay. Have you been to war? You look like you have. Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to war. Not to an official one, at least. There is something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. A professional assassin that's pleasant to be around. Oh my god. This really is like the Somnium Files again. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how can you be so calm here? Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done, and I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind it if you just said... Hmm. You... you wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Oh my god. Just a rumor, though. She's done all sorts of crazy shit, huh? Damn, I still don't know then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. <laughs> Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. So you've seen her do crazy shit. Okay. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss! Break! All right! Oh, so I get who the four of these are now. It's um, Jill and um, the boss and Dorothy and um, Gil. Gil and Jill. All right. We're on break. It's now safe to keep playing. I don't know who that goth chick is, though. Or that person... No, wait, that's Say down on the lower left. I don't know who that goth chick on the right is yet. Boss should clean the chicken buckets she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. All right. Maybe we should really fix this up a bit. Um... All right, that's not so bad. I don't remember what this stuff sounded like. Um... I 
don't know, uh, something like this? I don't know. Alright. Ready! You could take a couple of minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button is just was just jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. Right. Yes, it's open! Great! Hey, welcome to Valhalla! Good evening! Um, what kind of place is this? Is this the goth lady? Also, she also looks like an android. Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Kinda. Yeah? Well, this is a bar. A bar! Nice, nice! What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. Oh, I should have bought that tea alcohol yesterday, but I can't predict the future. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see if I what I can get you. Something like tea or something not so bitter. Maybe girly and bitter? Alright, let's see. That's something for New Game Plus, I suppose. Yeah. Is there a New Game Plus in this game? Or just playing it over? Sunshine cloud? Probably another sunshine cloud. Yeah, that's like the only one that fits the bill. I'll make her a big one. I'll give her like two alcohol. On the rocks. Here we go. Sunshine cloud, here you go, ma'am. I read that there is, and you can keep all your room furniture. Ooh, that's cool. Thank you for that tidbit. Try this. Yep, this'll do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, Miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. Kara Miki. I'm Kira Miki. Oh my god, she's Miki. She totally is Miku. Oh my god, Hatsune Miku here in my bar. Hatsune Miku with big boobs. I'm Kira Miki. So, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? Well, I guess you can say now that celebrities do visit your bar. <laughs> um. No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I I'll say Kira and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira Miki. No, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira Miki. Almost there. Kira Miki. Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira! Miki! <laughs> Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! And don't you ever forget it! What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? R right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilim that's putting on a concert tonight. Oh my god, she is a Vocaloid. She's a Lilim that's a, that's a singer and puts on concerts. 
I'm one Lilum who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making less preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that. Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I see, I see. By the way, Kira, with the little stars around it, like Kira Kira means like sparkly or shiny. So she's like sparkly, shiny Miki. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out. Holy shit! So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. But that's what they meant by the encore performance. That um, Donovan was talking about. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many? Then what exactly is? Hold on, then, based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it! Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol, then. Oh, I like that! Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft, as in alcohol-free? No, I meant soft as in soft. Soft? Well, let's see what I can get you. I wonder if she means alcohol free or something else. Well, there is soft is a is a um, indicator I saw in some of these. Let's let's see. That's not soft. Oh, like a blue fairy is sweet, girly, and soft. One of these will make your teeth turn blue. I hope you brush them well. Well, she is blue, so this this should work. All right, four Adel hide. One flanner guide. And, um, I'll make a big one. One, two, three, four. Two. And I'll give her maybe like that much again. All right. Aged and mixed. Does the aging make it blue? Oh, wait. It wasn't supposed to be blended. God damn it. All right, let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Um, some chemotrine. Aged. And just mixed. Blue fairy. Ooh, so pretty. It looks like Kira Miki. All right, here you go. Try this. Yeah, this will do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Yeah, do the show. Huh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. I can, it can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. And that'd be cool, Jill. You should do that. Just don't deck anybody in the face, you know? With your bottles. Mm-hmm. Hey! Is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh! Sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah. Do as you please. Okay, then, who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it, though. Your name, girl? Oh, for Jill, then. For Jill, never lose your star. From Kira Miki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're waiting outside for me right now. Uh, I see. They're also very organized. 
They'd make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. Oh my god. I remember once... The I remember one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. Oh my god! And she fails to see the problem? I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. Oh my god! I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, wait, it isn't! Yeah, you get me, Jill! Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. Actually, that's pretty cool. I'd be depressed if they asked for your love as a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel like their tickets are worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. Something bitter. Maybe to sober up a bit? I don't know if I want to give her the freaking um... I'm not, I'm not giving her a gut punch. Maybe maybe a suplex to wake her up. Or a grizzly temple? But it's bland. Maybe a suplex. What is the difference between suplex and a pile driver um, it's like the same except one has ice yeah I'm gonna give her a suplex all right so wait what the fuck oh wrong button um, yeah it is on the rocks and then I keep giving her big drinks. So how about eight Bronson extracts? I mean, I'm not sure how drunk robots can get anyway. I mean, I know that's an assumption, but one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't give her that much alcohol in the other two drinks anyway. And next. Suplex. Going to mess with a singer's mouth, tongue, or throat, eh? I figure... You know, she's a robot. Her throat probably isn't made of the same kind of thing. Maybe it, it can't sting. Well, anyway, let's turn. Try this. Yeah, this works. So, how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice, thanks! Hey, Jill, have you ever lost your identity? I've lost my ID card a couple of times, yeah. No, I mean, your- Oh my god, she looks so serious all of a sudden. No, I mean, your identity. Forgotten who you are. What's with the change in expression? N no, not really. I did. Huh? Hiramiki is just an artist name. At first, it was hard for me to play the part, you know? But I gained so much satisfaction from the concerts that I decided to invest myself. And I overdid it. How so? She's obviously met Date. <laughs> True! I know! It just keeps coming up! We're all losing our identities and... and, uh... Stuff. Right. How so? I became so invested in the character that I forgot who I was. Oh my god. There is a person beneath the Hatsune Miku mask. Who was I? Before I became Kira Miki, what did I like? Where does Kira Miki end and I begin? Oh! God damn it! I don't know what button I push when that happens. Alright. 
Where does Kira Miki end and I begin? If she says six years ago, I'm out. I know! For real! I just don't know anymore. Sounds rough. What drove you to such a decision? The fact that I know I'm performing a noble duty. How? You have to deal with many stressful things in everyday life. Work, debt, sickness, insecurity. The black slime that comes out of the sewers every full moon. Oh, that's scary. Um, you don't know what will await you every morning. You don't know if you'll make it back to bed that night. When measured, the cons of life outweigh the pros. Oh, shit. All right, Kira Miki. We're getting serious. People need something to cling to. And for many, I'm that thing. For me, it's Final Fantasy XIV uh, streaming, but... <laughs> you are? During my concerts, they stop being themselves for four hours. They're not a nurse, an office worker, or a store clerk. Or Dorothy, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. People tend to cling to her too. I mean, that's true. those four hours, they're just part of the mass that goes to see an idol. No religion, gender, or social class divides them. They're all at the same level. Damn. When not in the concert, I try to give them songs that will cheer them up, that will give their lives, make their lives worth living. When I see the people call my name from the stage, I know they're thanking me. Thanking me for that single moment where they can be happy. That's what I love about the stadium. I'm down below, while they're up high. But forgetting who I was before means that I can protect those smiles. So be it! Damn! I'll make that sacrifice as many times as needed. Because I live for them. Because I know I help them. I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I am Kiramiki. And don't you ever forget that. She's passionate. Fan club to me! We ride to the stadium! Wow. She's something else, huh? I suddenly feel the urge to ditch my shift and follow. Oh, fuck. Do you think she's telling the truth? Give me a sec. Oh, somebody's calling her? According to this article, her real name is Michelle Kingston. Deployed about two years ago. She did a few variety shows with a jazz band, but went solo afterwards. What was all that talk then? She was drunk and was a very peculiar drunk. So robots can get drunk. Figures. Still quite the motivational performer, though. No doubt. Boss, we're done. All right. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey, boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. So you were a wrestler. You're, huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red, specifically? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I kind of just remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and- Ah! God damn it! What button is that? might be on the side of my Joy-Cons or something. I think I might need to uh, get the little Joy-Con nunchuck looking covers for these. Maybe I won't accidentally trip it. Alright, my total earnings, 6590 Ooh, I made some money to- oh wait, but the deductions, right. Drinks total, no mistakes, commission, today's payment, tips, flawless service bonus, Grab a snack on the way home, it's on me. $300, today's transfer, 
total funds. So that was a, about half deducted out of that. Okay. Your membership to Shining Finger Enrollment. Looks like I can't um, look at the uh, log <laughs> until I go back to work. Alright, it's the 15th of December. What is this? Is this Miki? Kira Miki blog. Thanks, GC. Don't concert when I do the what? Okay. Did that idol really show up or is she like the ghost? Hey. Oh, the four said that. Alright. I gotta go now. Have fun with the stream, everybody. Thank you. Oh, the Steam, the Steam Summer Sale starts in three days. Cool. Yeah, thank you, Gooey. Gooey, thank you for following and have a great day. I think I'll do one more day. And I'll call it a night. Or not day, more like night, a work night, right? Okay. Let's look at the Kiramiki blog. Thanks, GC. Thanks, GC by Miki. Ooh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I can feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me, and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. This was by far our biggest show, and I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, my darlings. Love, Miki. Jill says, huh. So she'll actually come again? That's nice. Oh, it's 2 a.m.? Yeah. Well, have a, have a great morning and sleep well. <laughs> have a great night first. Yeah. Oh, who to raid? Who's around? Let me see. Oh yeah, I guess Kosen yesterday gave me a bunch of uh, um, accounts I don't know to raid, but also I, I guess I still don't know a lot about reading etiquette, so I feel kind of shy just like raiding strangers, but... Um, but then again, I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, um, there we go. If I can catch B, you know, Nono, -No, if I can catch Nono, -No, I can, uh, raid Nono's stream. Most tend to raid into the same type of games. Nono's playing Ch Chibi Robo right now. Oh, so I could, like, get another visual novel or, or like, raid another person playing Valhalla. And that's pretty normal. I feel like if it's the same game, that might be a little dangerous because spoilers, but, yeah. But just for visual novels, not, not with, um, competitive games, I'm sure. But, yeah. I have much to learn. I kind of mostly want to get to the next day just to, so I can see what the dialogue was that I missed. Yes, ma'am. Or to no no. Friends are always high on the list. All right. I think I'll um, I'll start work. How about this? I'll I'll start work and then we'll raid no no because I want to check that dialogue. All right. Just raid yourself and start the stream over. No, that's what happens every time my internet cuts out, Ichiyo-san. <laughs> but if you raid into the same genre, you're likely to get people who are interested in seeing what you're playing. That's true! That's true. It's just kind of weird, because I'm into story-based games. But I guess if it's, like, something a lot of people have played, like Ace Attorney, or something like that, or Fi Final Fantasy... I mean, you guys already like Final Fantasy, and a lot of Final Fantasy players like, um, uh, story games, so maybe that'll work. 
Yeah, me raiding a PUBG stream would not yield many viewers. Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, I would say so. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine. Alright, Dome Concert. <laughs> By Miki. Hi everyone! Are you ready for the Dome Concert? I sure am! I perform in a rather large number of concerts every year, and even then I can't help but be excited every time I've went around the corner. And it's all thanks to you! Thanks to your energy and, lo and love surrounding my life in every aspect. Um, I'm going to perform all your favorite songs, so please be excited! Just one little request! Please don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I wouldn't like to see you hurt, so please don't do it. Love, Miki. My bodyguards? Does she mean the fan club or... <laughs> what I do to relax. By Miki. It's been very hectic as of late, so I'd like to share with you what I do to relax. Sitting on rooftops. I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I like to feel the breeze and see a beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I cannot live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gym, lime. Any, name any tasty natural com combination. I'll be all over it. I could try that. I'm very careful about getting tipsy before a show, though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. That's all for today. See you. So that's what she meant by tea like drink. Yeah. All right, what's on um what's on Reddit? Mickey Concert 3. In the last thread, Anon hates fun. I don't want fights. You people are so immature. What's wrong with being a guy in danger you? Why do you care if we assume you're a girl anyway? Fuck off, dudes endanger you. Ha 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 ha. Let's go back to the concert, please. In 2070X, and you stupid idiots still care about petty shit like this. He started everything by mentioning he's a guy. Sigh. Anyway, we should gather somewhere to take the train to the, st to the stadium together. Not a bad idea. We can make an official danger you meet up. Danger you meet up. Like I'd want to be seen with a bunch of ugly girls in front of my friends. Okay, next thread I'm going to moderate the fuck out of this. No more posting. This thread is closed. Mickey Concert 4. Mickey Concert 4. In the last thread, no shit posting allowed. Did that one non left? I think so. I never left. I was just lurking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry. We're here for you. Any ideas on the great revelation? Do you know if you like her yet? Oh, right. The friend that uh, Leonon has a crush on. Look, I don't want to ruin our friendship. We know each other we know each other since we were very young. She is like your childhood friend. It's like one of my Japanese animes. Uh, y yeah. Um, okay. So this is what you have to do. When Miki ends singing Lovers in Paradise, you kiss her. Kiss? Of course. Just imagine how magical that moment would be with the fireworks and the epic guitar solo. Uh, I'll think about it. This thread is closed. <clears throat> how was your force kiss? First kiss. Jill says, I tripped into a guy. It hurt like hell. Oh no. I'd be lying if I wasn't curious how such a meeting would end up. All right. <clears throat> Another thread about Alice Rabbit. Spooky or a nice joke. Um, Alice Rabbit Thread 2, Electric Boogaloo. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. It's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? Well, yeah, I remember the cyber crime unit up in the admin's ass. December 17th will come. Second retribution, birth, day is coming. Oh! Oh, that's like that, um... Uh dog thing with the binary that was translated the retribution and uh wait december 17th that's soon and it has the magenta and the purple font like that um uh binary that font oh boy spooky font it's happening ha ah, time for despair oh shit fuck that feel when I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. Do you know what happens to people with IPs on the wrong thread? 
Hi, Cybercrime Unit. I just want to let you know that I'm not Alice, but in fact, your mom. Why are you gals so nervous? The only one getting fucked is the admin. Admin for, for uh, fuck off, Alice. Not this shit again. Thread is closed. Oh, wow. So maybe Alice is the one doing the binary with the purple and magenta text. Anyway. What does the freaking newspaper have to say? The augmented eye. Neo San Francisco rocked by an earthquake. Millions saved by Kimberly Lavalette. Hey, it's our girl. Jill, sigh. What we couldn't do with the money he'll use for that anyway. Well, let me get the context first. A powerful 8.6 magnitude tremor has struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Fortunately, modern science was able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. During a conference call, Glitch City's Prime Minister Quincy congratulated the rescue teams at NeoSF for its rapid response in the wake of the warning. They're an example to follow, and we're certainly looking forward to implementing these advancements in earthquake prediction here in our beautiful city. Glitch City is not currently known to be a seismic zone. Oh, uh, but we couldn't do it with the money he'll use for that nowadays. Gotcha. Um, Kira Miki confirmed as the best pop star in history. Oh, by Donovan Dawson. <laughs> Don't let. Oh, well, he did. He did grant this guy his wish, kinda. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. She's the best. Like, she had to be handcrafted to be this perfect. Holy moly. She's the top tier everything. I gotta drink some water. She's the top tier everything. And I'm baffled as to how there are still people out there hoping to be as awesome and hot and great. They can't. It's impossible for a human to top such an achievement. I, for one, welcome our new Roboco overlord. So that was totally ghostwritten by the, um, by the Kiramiki simp that Donovan was talking about. All right. Interview, Gloria Light and her quest for a Tino Award. Well, she looks like yet another Lilith, I guess, by Lilith Smithy, The Augmented Eye. In today's interview segment, we sit with Tino Award nominee Gloria Light. is not going to be happy with that review. Oh yeah. Donovan D. Dawson. I gotta, I gotta remember him as Triple D now. Like, like Double D in Edit and Eddie, except now he's Triple D. Right. And, and it's under his name, so he's gonna see it. Oh, that'll be funny. Um, but he had to approve it, according to him, in order for it to end up in the paper. But, but Maybe if people start making fun of him, he'll regret it. Or maybe he was lying. People lie about him paying attention to everything he publishes. <laughs> anyway, the augmented eye. In today's interview segment, we sit with Tino Award nominee Gloria Light. It's an honor to be here with you. It's my pleasure. Tell us everything. What do you content blocked in your region? You look pissed. It's a local page. Oh, that blows. All right. Let's go shopping. I want to get some of that tea boots in case she comes back. I want the Mulan tea. The coveted tea-based liquor. Tastes like green tea and kicks like whiskey. You're about to buy Mulan tea for $900. Yes. And, um... I want the PC. I have enough money now. And can still pay for the rent, I think. Yay. I now have gaming PC. Finally. I feel like I shouldn't be totally blowing all my money. Since there's that whole, like, rent and, uh subscription to the newspaper and stuff, so. All right.
right. Jill is humming your love is a drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Kira Miki's blog. Oh! Buying the song. How can I buy the song? Do I go to the music app and buy the song? Please select a song. Yeah, you're missing some songs, girl. How do I buy songs? Shop? Are there songs in the shop? Oh, your love is a drug. Idol Hell, a magazine with all things idols, has a download code for your love is a drug. There we go. All right. I better make some money before I have to um, renew that subscription on the 17th. Oh, I still have two days. All right. What is Shining Fingered anyway? Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Okay. Now let's let's go to work. Good evening. All right, now I can check. Um Oh, there we go. There we go. How'd you find about wrestling? A client I take you to a, a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you like it, maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss, don't cram your head without anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. All right, that was it. Okay. I think. Oh. What happens if I do slot one? Oh. Perhaps I can't just save willy nilly. I have to, um. Oh, hi there. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, save and then raid it at, uh, the break. The break in the job. Because there's a save function there. Alright. Oh, hi there. Oh, hello, Alma. She's pretty. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's the same tired thing. Alma? Ah, Leonidas. Gillian. Marcello. I stumbled across her on my way in and asked if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's Boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. All right. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. Um... Oh, do we have... Do we have, um... The song, the idol song now? Yeah, your love is a drug. So that's what it sounds like. It does kind of sound like an idol song. Let's put your love is a drug right, right up here. There we go, now we're ready. Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, just something they made me say back in instruction. It's kind of stuck. Huh. I went to school. I went to school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature? To G... G... Um, I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That's... Kira Miki girl came here yesterday before her concert, actually. Oh, yeah. 
Now I, now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link Blink more, actually. A stoic looking duo, right? Yep, those. Uh, seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? <laughs> I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. Oh, oh my god. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like the guy wasn't wearing what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know? Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all these pics you have of your boss. The ones filling your phone's memory. Yeah, I think you're a little obsessed. Um, Jill? Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true. Shut up. I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Alma's a hacker? Is she Alice? Ah, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You? Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? The bad touch. We're making the bad touch. <laughs> sure. Alpha wants a bad touch. <laughs> <laughs> bad touch. <laughs> We're nothing but mammals, after all. Sour, classy, vintage. The bad touch is classy? Right. I'll make her a big one. Four Bronson extracts. Four powdered deltas. Four flanner guides. Eight carmatrines. And all on the rocks. And mixed. Bad touch. Oh, it's green. Here you go. Here you go. This is one big bad... Are you hitting on me? A big bad touch? <laughs> you wish. Um. <clears throat> so, who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. A LARP? Live action role playing? Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy handed writer or a military organization. What did he role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open? <laughs> oh, so Woodstock became a thing again and now it's a regular fair? Interesting. Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. So you didn't like that he was a hippie. You just like that he went to a bank and had a nice car. He sounds like he went to my, my college. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner and what he does, but if it's something like that... You see? That's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're just getting to know him. You're still getting to know him. Think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationships for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night? Your cat doesn't count. <laughs> oh my god, same. Oh my god, Stella is actually like curled up right against me right now and did a big yawn. So, um... That's such a mood. Yeah, I sleep with my cat. <laughs> a year ago, it was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. Oh my god, Gillian? Mirror of everyone's life? Of anyone's life? Oh my god, I'm Jill. Fuck, boy! People have different needs and priorities. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? 
using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs, putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head, dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. Jill? Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? Oh, that got to Jill. She's lonely. The cat mentioned that yesterday. I'll have you know that my Uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still, get me something weird, would you? Huh, ventriloquism. Weird? A weird drink? Yeah, something different, experimental, uncommon. Let's see, a weird drink. Hm. Promo drinks fit that bill easily. All right, what's what's it? What I've been wondering about these promo drinks. Oh yeah, I, I haven't looked at Zen Star or Bloomlight yet. Grizzly Temple is the um, yeah, that is a weird drink actually. Bloomlight, it's so unnecessarily brown. Aged on the rocks and mixed. It's like sweet with a little. Alright, um, Zen Star. A Zen Star is four of each ingredients on the rocks and mixed, you'd think. Something so balanced would actually taste nice, you'd be dead wrong. Sour promo bland. Um, four of each ingredient. I guess that's pretty weird. All on the rocks and mixed. Alright. Four of everything. Zen Star. Hey, that kind of sounds like something um, her like rich banker hippie ex would like. So, haha, -ha. I'm gonna make you think about your ex. Ice mixed. Zen Star. Oh, it's kind of pretty looking though. Here you go. Here. Yeah, this hits the bill. It's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie. Read, they leapt at the chance to sell drinks that would be unmarketable otherwise. Oh. You know, your orders are weird today. Oh, so they're promotional drinks. Promo as in they're promoting a movie or something. Gotcha. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini, then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well... I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? I knew it, she is Alice Rabbit. That's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they prepared just for the occasions, like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. I can't remember what they used to call themselves, I just remember that it was a petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated using, started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. Is she just talking about anonymous? The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It's no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything every anyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet press made up. The antithesis of your usual boogeyman, if you must. So you don't think such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity. But it might be anything. An individual, a group, an AI. An AI? Oh no! Six years ago! No, I'm kidding. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They all start trying to hack stuff without knowing risks or consequences. Imagine if suddenly 
A group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me. And it's thanks to that damned Alice Rabbit thing. I see. But enough of that. There's more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometime for too long. Oh, that. Well, aren't you lonely, Jill? Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? No, I... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. <laughs> Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's, it's no fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know? That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out. I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Anyway, I'm going to need another drink here. Like, say, a big brantini. Finally, that's the elm I know. A big brantini. Easy enough. Oh my god, how many of these have I made? Oh, wait. But they're already big, because it's six Edelheids. Well, I'll just see if this works. Aged. Um, and mixed. I hope this is good enough. Here you go. Jill, do you advocate that bullshit about size not mattering? Because this better be some concentrated shit that justifies teeny size. Jill? Hmm? J-I-L-L. -J -L. That'd be 4A, 69, 6C, 6C. Or, oh my god, she's speaking in binary. Or 01001010101010101. Zero one one zero one one zero 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 one one zero one one zero zero. In binary, you have fifteen ones. Did you celebrate your quince king your fifteenth birthday party? Hey, Jill? Don't think so. What about your sweet sixteen? Did you do anything special for that? Nope. And your eighteenth or twenty-first? Nope, none of those. I saw no point in making them any different from any other birthdays. Oh, but they're different. How so? Oh, I guess she's smashed now. There wasn't even much alcohol in that thing. They celebrate your budding sexuality. It's the point where society tells you that you can fuck. Oh my god, Alma. That you're starting to look appealing enough for other people to consider fucking you. It's also the hypocritical way they tell you you can, but shouldn't fuck. I guess that's one way of seeing it. Although, there's no point in celebrating those so late. There was this one time in middle school I got fed up with a teacher. I was in 8th grade, but the idiot kept treating me like a child. So one day, I adjusted my shirt, pushed my boobs together with my arms, and told him, Teacher, you know you could get me pregnant, right? The poor bastard couldn't look at me for the rest of the year. I also got suspended, scolded, and grounded, but it was totally worth it. I was a blossoming woman, and I wasn't going to stand for it. This is why I like numbers. Numbers don't await your sexual awakening just to tell you later that you shouldn't be sexual. Numbers never betray you. They don't cross you. They don't expect you to form a family or give them grandkids. You think a 27 cares if you have a Catholic wedding? No, but I care that you're drunk. I am most certainly not. Then spell your name. 41, 6C, 60, 61. There. Not in hexadecimal. A L. I'll call you a cab. I'll be fine. I'm going home now. 
My brother-in-law is close by. He told me to call him when I was done. Bye, Jill. Take care out there. Hello, sugar. Ow! Hello, sugar. Ow! Hello, Mr. Donovan. Ichiyo-san. Cute emojis. Like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. You grab the boss? Ew, get out of here. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hard as fuck, that's all my abdomen felt. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself whenever he sees something he likes, kid. I think that's called a sex pest, and maybe you should be sued. Oh, but don't worry, you're safe. You're flatter than the field at my summer house. Wow. A bit of advice, you shouldn't provoke the ones serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience, I'm just not part of it. Today I'm making this quick one. Gotta attend to businesses in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. The usual, he says. Mr. Donovan wants the usual. Uh, three days and he already has a usual drink. The frickin' big beer. Alright, two Edelhides, four Branson Extracts, two Powdered Deltas, four Flanner Guides, eight Carmatrines. All mixed. Here! The usual. Sure, this'll work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So I was used to... I was working a clinch, an exclusive interview with that, um... Red-haired idol? Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but in the end, the result is what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Hmm? Hey, the signature on that glass over there. Ah, oh yeah. That big titted Lilum was here? She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there has to be something. Well, her love for what she'd do is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here, anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. Say, are many of your interns women, Mr. Donovan? All of my interns are women, kid. Every single one of them. It's a pack of hungry, desperate bitches. Why only women? Did you ever watch Race for Hope? The movie? Yeah. A movie about a journalist looking for clues regarding a murder. That tacky movie had everything. Romance, action, a dog with sunglasses. <laughs> It also sold this weird, fantastical image of what journalism is. I'm guessing lots of girls saw it in high school and wanted to become journalists. And now I have to deal with that shit. How can you be so sure? My first brother-in-law was a doctor. He said that a couple of years after that emergency heart movie, all of his interns were women for a long while. And this is why you don't let brats that barely understand what responsibilities are pick a career. Um... Do you perhaps know a girl named Kimberly Lavalette? Doesn't ring a bell. Who is she? Um, nobody. Forget I said anything. Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? How can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece and even better makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? It's 
sent a message to some outlets saying they approve of their claims. That they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. I know, right? Alright, kid, give me a Bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Okay. Bleeding Jane. That's a change of pace. Yeah, I've never made one of those before. Say the name of this drink three times in front of a mirror and you'll look like a fool. <laughs> like a Bloody Jane. Um, Bloody Mary. Bleeding Jane. So this is the future Bleeding Jane. It is... I'm going to make it big again. Two brownstone extracts, so it's a little bitter. I still don't know what powdered delta tastes like. Um, six explainer guides. All blended. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Bleed Jane. Take the bleed Jane. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. So I've heard this is Dana Zane's bar. Is that true? Yeah. Never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? Oh my god! She's out running some air bears? Six years ago, a cash strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Face 10 enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. Holy shit! I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored. What can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she had her prosthetic then, too. I heard someone there suggested that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of the stadium. Some stadium. Threw it so hard her arm fell off. That's definitely fake. Six years! Oh, no! Oh, my God. That didn't even register with me. Six years ago! Ah! This really is the same game! Holy shit! But that sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank her for winning me my second yacht. Um, isn't she the one you just groped earlier? You asshole? I knew betting on her was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. Alright, looks like it's time for my break. Valhalla. Cyberpunk bartender action. Let's save. Alright. Let me see. Stella, it's time to move kitty. Sorry. Oh no, she's staying put. I'm just leaning past her. Oh no, there she goes. Let's see if B's still playing. Yeah, no, no, still playing. All right. You guys want to go uh, raid raid no, no? All right, let's go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to continue this game tomorrow from our break. So, all right. Let me see. No, 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 no. All right. No one's page is loading. All right. Hey, where's the where's the raid button? Um Oh, it's just slash raid, right? Oh. Wait, I just put it in uh, my chat, right? I say slash raid and then no-no's card.